The very first lenses ever developed for the Canon FD mount date all the way back to 1964 and remained in development until the late 80s. There were three generations of lenses, which include Canon FL, FD, and NFD lenses. Each generation offers its own blend of features, which may or may not be ideal for you. Let's examine the history of the Canon FD lineup to better understand what they have to offer. FL lenses mark the first time fluorite was used in the construction of Canon lenses. Fluorite lenses have low dispersion, so they exhibit less chromatic aberration. The very first iteration of the FD breech lock was also developed for FL series lenses, utilizing a rotational mount ring at the rear of the lens. This early breech lock mechanism became the foundation of early FDs. FD lenses also introduced a new lens coating called spectra or superspectra coating, SC or SSC for short. Superspectra coating was a multi-layer coating developed to reproduce strict color reproduction standards, which helped eliminate ghosting and flare caused by lens surface reflections. This particular lens coating delivers optimum color balance and contrast. It also provides a unique and warm look that makes Canon FD stand out from other legacy brands. All FD lenses have some variation of the SC coating, but the higher quality grade SSC coating was added to later versions which can be found stamped in red on the front of the lens. New FD lenses, NFD or FDN for short, marked the move from a breech lock mount to a bayonet mounting system. This was a feature that many photographers clamored for because they wanted, quote, a feel of complete lock when switching lenses. The mount remained the same on the camera, but this meant that you needed to twist the entire lens to match it to your camera body. It's also a common misconception that the older Canon FDs marked with SSC on front are optically superior to the newer FDs because the NFDs do not have a superspectra coating. This is not true, since most NFDs came standard with the superspectra coating. Canon just simply decided to no longer advertise that fact on the front of the lens. Among the three generations of FD lenses, NFDs seem to be the most noticeably different due to their reduced build quality and change in color scheme. Metal barrels were replaced with mostly plastic, which is a trend that continued into the EF lens lineup. The barrels became all black and orange focal measurements were replaced with a translucent green color. The mostly metal construction of the older FD lenses are highly sought after due to their superior build quality and the common misconception that they are better optical performers. This makes the older FD lenses designated with a SSC on front a little more rare and expensive to find than the newer FDs. However, I prefer the smaller and lighter profile of the NFDs paired with my small mirrorless camera body. Among the newer FDs came an enhanced range of FD lenses called the L-Series Canon FDs. Canon's L-Series lenses continued on into the current EF lineup with its famous red ring around the front of the lens. Today, FD lenses are enjoying a second life primarily on mirrorless cameras. Working with Canon FDs recall a time when the look or character of a lens was just as important as its optical performance. Click on the links provided to learn more about these lenses. Product links are included in the description below. And as always, feel free to subscribe and visit filmformat.com for more filmmaking reviews and tutorials from yours truly. Thanks for watching.